Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Crazy Pie, and in this video we're going to be going over 3 simple hacks that will help you guys level up faster within Apex Legends. Over the past few days I've been doing so much research on how you can actually level up faster and I've been using my PS4 secondary account to actually put it to the test and I've actually went up 9 to 10 levels within like 1 to 2 days. A I was constantly playing and B I've been putting these tips to the test to help me level up fast within Apex Legends and I have 3 really crucial tactics and little, little I guess you can say little hacks that you can use to help you level up faster just some stuff that you can focus on here in Apex Legends to help you level up a little bit faster within the game because obviously if you are playing with randoms because this game you cannot play solos or duos yet you want to try and be a high level so that people do respect you I guess you can say so because you know if you obviously are playing as a max level and you are the champion people are going to fear you so uh hopefully these tips do help you out if they do please feel free down below to leave a like and uh that's really it let's get into it so the first little tip and trick type of hack I have for you guys is kind of I guess it, it isn't really that obvious because it's not really that known out there because I guess if you don't look at your after game stats after every single game that you play you wouldn't really know this but basically what you have to do is I guess just play the game every single day and obviously yes if you play the game every single day you will level up because you just play the game but the main reason and the main reason why I actually said this to you know why it's not that obvious is because if you play the game every single day and get your very first kill of the day, you actually get a free 500 XP just for getting that simple kill. If you guys don't know, every single kill in Apex Legends is worth 50 XP, but then once you get that very, very, very first kill of the day, it's a bonus 500 XP for that kill, basically. So essentially, if you just log on once a day for like a week and get one kill a day, so maybe you only have time for one Apex Legends game a day, as long as you can hop into the game and get that simple kill for the one day, you're easily getting like 3500 XP just from getting one simple kill. Seven kills a week, that's all you gotta get. Seven kills a week and you got your free 3500 XP per game. But guys, there is more to the pie. There's more layers to this cake than just that because if you guys stack that, that's a simple one, right? That is a pretty simple one, a pretty simple hack. But moving on to the second little tip and trick here, it's basically two in one. So there's two different sides to this tip that I have for you guys. One of them is to either drop in a very hot spot such as Market, Repulsor, etc., Skulltown, or on the Dropship, or at the High Tier Loot Circle. The reason why you're going to want to do this is because A, you can get a ton of kills there, try and thirst a bunch of guys, you'll basically get 50 points per kill there, it's pretty good. Or, the second side, the main tip here for this scenario, is I would try to drop somewhere that you can basically just last the longest. If you don't want to play an aggressive game and if you're not very an aggressive player, but you still want to level up, this is the tip for you. Because yes, if you do drop at a high tier loot spot, it's good if you're an aggressive player. I will not lie. It's very fun if you are a very aggressive player. But if you're not an aggressive player, here's where this tip comes into play because basically all I'm asking you guys to do is drop at an outskirt location. So this could either be the slum town, the swamp right next to the hydro dam i believe it is water treatment facility etc if you guys just drop at a very remote location and basically just i wouldn't necessarily say camping i'm not promoting camping at all this isn't another top five best camping spots in titanfall 2 video but i am promoting if you guys try and survive as long as you possibly can within the game your time played in the match means a lot I, it's not like any other battle royale where it, your time play doesn't mean anything. This game actually rewards you for staying alive longer. I believe if you get like 20 minutes, that's like 3,500 XP just for that one game. And then if you get that single kill in the very beginning as well, you're looking at like 4,000 XP just for that one, two things alone right there in that one game. And if you can manage to pull off first, second, or third place, you also get more XP. And if you kill the kill leader in that too and still win the game, you're looking at even more XP, man. So just try and stay alive for as long as you possibly can within Apex Legends because the longer that you stay alive, the more XP you will get. So this either means you can camp it out, just try and wait for the timer to run out. I'm not saying you should camp. So don't roast me down there in the comment section below, but if you guys aren't as aggressive and you want to get XP easier, camp it out, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you to. That's all I'm saying. The third and basically final tip that I have for you guys here is to be a good teammate. Now, I've seen it countless times where my teammates haven't revived me if I'm playing with randoms or they haven't even managed to try to pick up my banner. But if you guys don't know, you actually get 200 XP for respawning a teammate. And here, I guess, is where the little hack, I guess, saying that with air quotes, comes into play. If you respawn a teammate, 
you can pretty much, I believe you can do it three times for one teammate. So if you are playing with like two other friends, you can basically just get your friends to kill each other in the map. You can't like kill each other, but just like kill, kill yourself with a grenade. And you guys can just keep respawning each other into the game like six times. And you'll basically end up with around a thousand XP depending on how many times you guys want to respawn your teammates. Yeah, it'll be annoying. Yeah, it'll be time consuming. But if you don't want to put in any of the work, all you really have to do is get your friends to kill themselves in the game. And all you gotta do is either revive them for the XP or straight up just go and respawn them from the dropship. That's all you really gotta do. And you'll get like 200 XP every single time that you respawn them. Technically, this is boot. Boosting. I'm not promoting boosting at all. I'm just raising awareness for the issue here But I mean if you guys, you know put your brains together here I haven't done this before because I'm not a, a little goblin But like hey if you want to boost in apex legends, man I mean you can easily boost in apex legends because they allow it I'm just simply the messenger here shooting this out there but you know my main tip here is hey if you want to get some xp save your teammates revive them and respawn them because yes you will get a ton more xp combine that with everything else that i've said in this video you will get so much xp a video or a video a game i mean my bad guys and it's just ridiculous so i'm not saying you should boost i'm not condoning boosting at all but i'm just saying that it's out there uh, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying that it's 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 it's, it's existent, but uh, I'm not saying you should. But, I mean, that's up to you guys to determine for yourselves. Wink, wink. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, it, like I said, comment down there below how you guys feel about this. How you guys, you know, how you guys like to level up faster. Who your favorite legends are. What future videos you guys like to see, etc. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, down below, like, subscribe, everything. It will mean a lot to me. Videos will be coming out pretty much every single other day as I am pretty much back on YouTube now. I like it a lot. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, boys.